Hello, my name is Gabriel Sedano, and today I'm creating a video that covers what I've learned in today's office hours. In today's hours, office hours, we've begun with learning and revealing uh, what is inheritance, so that we can contrast it with polymorphism. In inheritance, typically, it is the act of drawing members from one class in a base class that has its variables and member function sorry, met, uh, methods already defined. So it's uh, to put into a child class. So this child class will uh, possess all of the member variables and methods that are defined in scope in the definition of the child class uh, for the parent class. So in this example that I've created, we have two classes. One is the parent class and one is the child class. To illustrate the parent class, uh, I have defined it with three variables h, b, and c, and its methods, a default constructor, a basic one, a parameterized constructor, which uh, I have placed all of its variables as parameters and which assigns the parameters to this parent class object. And I have three accessors. I can access uh, a, b, h, B and C. So, to inherit from this parent class, I have to find a child class, and I am using this column to access this, this the public scope of what it is in parent class. Note that I do not have any variables for this child class. In child class, I only have methods. Uh, I'm drawing from the parent default constructor method to make my child constructor method. And I am drawing from the parent's parameterized constructor method to make my child's parameterized construction method. Uh, one last time, note that even so, these variables are not defined you know, here in child class. Uh, you will see that I will be able to create variables that are linked to child based on the parent's constructor method. Lastly, I have a accessor for the child that returns the name of the child, which is actually based using the parent's uh, accessor method. Perspective one. All right, going to main. Um, I begin with uh, declaring a parent object named with uh, the name John, and I am using its parameterized constructor. Then I am uh, outputting the data it has, uh, only specifically its uh, name age. Then on line 78, I am, use, I am making the child object and I am, uh, I am uh, using its the parents classes constructor method while giving it the different age and a different name. Once again, I am outputting this data using the child classes methods. When I run the program, you'll see that John retains the parent class object, retains his name and age. Hello, my name is John and I am a parent. My age is 48. The child, while it, the, the child class was not defined with variables, I have succeeded in using the parent classes constructor method 
to output a, as well a name and age. To summarize, inheritance is the active drawing from one base class to use in a derived class, or, or to use the different names respectively. I am draw, drawing from the parent class to put into the child class. Now, let's talk in about polymorphism. Let me first comment this out. Second. All right. In contrast to inheritance, which, uh, as I mentioned, draws from one parent class, polymorphism is slightly different in that I have one base class, yet I can treat it as a root class, and I can then make different classes that are all, are all drawing from the same base class. So, in this example, I have a base class called Magical Creatures. Note that I have uh, its variables, name, color, type, and age. I have a set of methods, including the constructors, and a set of accessors and mutators. From this base class, I am making Goblin, which includes magical creatures, and includes specifically what is in the public scope of magical creatures, with its own parameterized default constructors, as well as a talk method. Likewise, I have Dragon, which also draws specifically from the public scope of magical tree creatures and so on, as well for Elf and Genie. In polymorphism, each derived class typically has their own variables and methods, but we can still access the base classes, variables, and methods. However, this is not necessarily recommended in programming for C++. Suppose I have a base class in, in a program that has all of the methods and variables I need to, say, run, run a simple movement system, for example, where I might update the variables x and y as they go along. But if I make a player object that draws from those from that base class that has the functions and variables, there is no clear sense in making yet another derived class that also derives from the uh, base class that has the members and variables. But but I mean, I already have a player that can move. However, it may be useful if you wish to take advantage of the derived classes on methods to use in place of the base class. So in this example, you may notice that I have a method called toString here. And generally for objects of magical creatures, this will output name, type, color, age, and so on. However, in Dragon, I also define a toString method. <laughs> in Elf, I also define a toString method. So while when I run my program, you will notice that these will take, these will be used in place of the derived classes methods. So if you run my program, Right. Okay. So beginning from the top, you can see that I. <laughs> sorry about the duplicate. 
you can see I created a dragon and for the most part it uses the methods given in natural creatures. However, when I use a two string method, I am using the derived classes on two string method. Likewise for elf, for the most part, I am using the magical creature based classes uh, to string method. However, I've replaced the elves. I, I replaced the basis classes to string method with the elves. In uh, different, but likewise for Cosmo a genie, I used uh, its own live in method instead of the base classes. For the goblin, I used the talk method in place of the base classes. It's not necessarily always recommended, but sometimes it may help in managing objects. In short, polymorphism is the act of treating a base class as a root, and you can make several different classes based on that root class. Whereas inheritance, the child class draws solely from one parent class. I hope this helps. Thank you very much for listening.